What's up, YouTube? Hudson Fan 15 back with another mail week and LCS recap. Uh, went to Mike's in East Haven Saturday morning. Met up with uh, JPK, JPK19, James, and uh, Nick from uh, eBay, uh, The Miz. Uh, had a good time with those fellas. Spent a couple hours there. Uh, JPK, JPK19, James just did a case of National Treasures. He bought it from our uh, local crack dealer, aka hobby box seller uh, Norman, who's a uh, Connecticut card show legend. If you've ever been to a show in Southern Connecticut and bought a box, odds are it was either directly from him or from someone who purchased it from him. Uh, he is listing some of the stuff from his first couple of boxes up on eBay. There'll be more to come. Uh, so there, there'll be a link to his uh, eBay and to his YouTube. Uh, a lot of the stuff. Pretty much all of it, actually, other than the Patriots stuff, which is PC for him, will be for trade. So uh, send him trade offers, legit trade offers, guys. Don't offer him seven rookie scrub autos for one good you know, patch auto card. Uh, otherwise, the stuff's going to end up on eBay. Try to keep it to Patriots stuff if you can, but if you have something else of value, by all means, go ahead and do it. Uh, picked up a couple singles. Uh, Tommy Hansen from Platinum. Reggie Wayne from Finest. Uh, some other things that are going to packages for other people that I'm not going to show. Did a pack of gridiron gear, got nothing, and I uh, got the last two packs of UFC main event. And uh, nothing of note. Uh, this is like, I think this is maybe the first or second time I've ever bought UFC cards like in a pack. And uh, Mike ended up giving them to me because we're going to be working on a project, so that's going to be a to-be-determined uh, to project that we've got going. But um, I don't know. It's it, it seems like I, I, if anything I would buy I'd probably like ever buy an, even a substantial quantity probably be um, probably be knockout the one hit per pack stuff because a lot of these guys I mean they they were in for like a cup of coffee and now they're gone uh, Ultimate Fighter Marcus Davis insert uh, Junior Dos Santos base uh top 10 fights uh Diego Sanchez, Clay Guida from the Tough 6 finale and uh the maniac the man Randy Couture. So, I'm um, I don't I'm not thrilled. I think I'm just this proves to me that I really should just stick to uh the UFC autographs buying them individually, which I did with this one uh from Prominent Cuts John Fitch. Um, it seems like I have this tendency either when a fighter is coming up for a fight or has just won a fight especially to go out and get some of his stuff and I gotta kind of break that habit because that I end up paying more than I think what I could otherwise um, some eBay pickups I got this as a three card lot all national treasures base all Colts all Dallas Clark uh, 9399 is the uh, is the Colts uh, treasures base 9 out of 99 is the Jersey and uh, this is two color, but I think it's a one color patch and then ink. A little dabble of ink, and it's 20 of 50. It, it's, it's hard to see unless you have it in your hand, but it it's, doesn't look like there's any sort of groove or indentation or seam. It looks like somebody wrote on the patch. So that I thought was peculiar enough to warrant. I, think I paid 10 bucks a chip for the whole lot, so that's not bad. Uh, the black refractor parallel, that finest base that I showed you before, Reggie Wayne. Next few will all be Reggie Wayne. Uh, 2010 Tops throwback manufactured patch with the weird, funky, psychotic horse looking thing. Uh, Ultimate Collection, two color patch, 25 of 99 with a ton of stitching. 2009 Exquisite patch. Two color, two rows of stitching, three break, 28 of 40. And then the big Reggie Wayne pickup of the week is uh, 2005 Sweet Spot uh, autographed helmet, which I don't believe I had, as unbelievable as that may be. And I just noticed this card did not come shipped in a penny sleeve. Awesome. Uh, next up, uh, also for the Colts PC, Sage, uh, I believe squared, Blair White with the number 25 inscription, Donald Brown dual auto. I had actually bought that card 
on eBay and had it refunded because the guy sold a card he didn't have. So I eventually got a replacement for that. I got it for the same price. And just to prove to you guys that spending time on eBay, just doing random searches, really does help. This is a 2009 press pass gridiron graphs 2009 yeah 2009 uh, press pass gridiron graphs emerald parallel 4 of 25 I've never seen him Donald Brown sign just his initials DB like that I paid 99 cents plus shipping for that card it was listed in some other category it didn't have a year it was all lowercase. It took like three weeks for it to get here. Because the guy said he sent it and it got sent back. Which, I don't know how that happened, but it did. So, um, yeah. Thought that was kind of uh, worth mentioning to you guys. On a Tim Hudson pickups, just two. Uh, there were actually three, but I'll get to that in a minute. Uh, 165 out of 250 uncirculated silver parallel 2003 Bowman. And BGS graded 9, 1999 Upper Deck Ultimate Victory, number 137, rookie card of Hudson. Now, I say there were three because um, I received a card in the mail damaged. Like, heavily damaged. Uh, the card was packaged properly. I cannot fault the seller for this. But UPS looked like it, it was practicing parallel parking on top of this package. It was ridiculously damaged. The, the entire top corner of the card was folded in at about a 45 degree angle. It was bent in about three different spots. It was a 2011 Topps Heritage uh, Tim Hudson Adam Lind stamp card number to 62. And one had sold for about, I want to say about 16 shipped. And then the next night, one popped up on a $14 shipped buy it now. Uh, ballpark, $13 to $14 buy it now. And I jumped on it immediately. So this was really disappointing. And I sent a message to the seller, and I wasn't sure what I was going to get back. What I got back from this eBay seller was quite possibly the best response to an issue I've ever had. I mean, we get so ingrained with these eBay dudes to just expect the worst. And in some cases, you get the best. And these guys are some of the best. There's their eBay ID, Terry and Lisa. Uh, pack pros. I think I was talking mainly with Terry. Uh, Terry's been in the hobby since 83, which is oddly enough the year I was born. And he understands it's a hobby. He, he doesn't treat it like a business. He, he s enjoys the hobby, enjoys opening product and then selling uh, stuff afterwards. And... Uh, not only did they refund my money, and they're on a trip, so they didn't even verify 100% sure that it got there. But I, I sent it with delivery confirmation, so maybe they tracked it with the number. They also refunded, uh, they also sent as a gift, so there's no fees, the actual cost of postage, which the eBay buyer protection program does not mandate that they do. So these sellers went over and above any possible expectation I had of this. They did it in the warmest, friendliest fashion that you possibly could do. Um, and I, I implore you all to just go take a look at their items for sale right now. Uh, I think it was between 600 and 700 items for sale. Um, obviously, keep in mind, like I said, they're on a vacation right now. So, uh, so once again, they're on a vacation. They don't have to respond, and they're getting back to me I think the longest response was the initial response, and it was like not even a day. So they, they take customer service seriously. When there's a problem, they're going to fix it immediately, even even while they're on vacation. I, I'm just floored. 
I'm floored by these folks, and and I and I, I really hope you guys take a minute, click the link in the description box, and just just I mean even if you just breeze through, if you want to just enter whatever your PC team or player is to try to find something, um, give them a shot. That's all I can tell you. To give them a shot. They're, everything's reasonably priced. I was looking at it before. Uh, that's all I can say. Next up, uh, back to the uh, YouTube realm, Funky Diabetic One. Uh, he contacted me about a trade, and then kind of noticed that there was a little bit of damage on the card, so didn't really want to trade it to me. And then uh, he came back with a response that he was just going to send me the card, which I thought was just phenomenal. Uh, included as a note, uh, so Funky Diabetic One. There's the uh, he did a separate index card for the YouTube PC, which is awesome. Tom, here are the cards I told you about, including the Adai Auto. I hope you could use some of them. Thanks for all your great videos. You've inspired me to get back into collecting, so this is a just because to say thank you for that. I will always be on the lookout for any Colts, Tim Hudson, and cool CDs in the discount bin. All the best, Anthony. Anthony, I appreciate that. Yep, uh, discount bin CDs are awesome. Uh, everything was uh, very well packaged uh, as well. Uh, I've got a pack of base here. Uh, I've got a, a few Hudsons, uh, a couple of Icons. Um, this uh, I've seen this. Somebody has this like white hot one of one, but not really one of one proof thing of this card on eBay forever, and I just won't buy it because I, I don't believe in it. I think it's something somebody's making up. Uh, Donruss Fan Club, uh, all these, a whole pile of Hudsons, including, like I said, a couple I don't have. Uh, Dwight Franey, Tops Prime, Peyton Manning Icons, Reggie Wayne, Absolute, Anthony Gonzalez, and Peyton Manning Classics Base. Uh, Joseph Adai, Signature, uh, I'm sorry, Sophomore Sensations, Press Pass 2007. And the Adai in question, a 2009 Topps uh, National Chicle Auto, and not the screwball auto, artist auto, the actual player auto of Joseph Adai. So I did not have that. That is very much appreciated, Anthony. Uh, if I come across anything, Wade Boggs of interest, I will uh, I will let you know or just send it your way. Uh, he is, uh, he just passed the 100 subscriber mark, and I'd like to start the push for 200, because, uh, I mean, if you guys could just read the PMs back and forth that I had with him, uh, definitely a very good guy and somebody that we should welcome with open arms into the community. And finally, I put this up as a backup for a reason, another mail day from Motown Philly, Phil. Uh, I appreciate it, buddy. I picked up a card for him at a show, and we worked out a deal, and then uh, this was also in the mail. Uh, let's see here. Tom, enjoy. Your pal, I think that's uh, that says Motown Philly. I can't read that. That's way too small, bro. Um, there's two things here. There's one with double-sided tape on there, so I almost... Spent the thing in half trying to get it out. Uh, Raymond Berry TTMs, and I don't know if this is something that he sends to people or you sent that to him, but that's awesome. Uh, personalized. And then kind of in a similar style to uh, the backdrop I'm currently using, uh, to Tom Raymond Berry. And if I'm not mistaken, that's Johnny U that he's talking to. The profile and the number are a little bit obscured, but to me that looks like uh, looks like him. For those of you who don't know, Ray Barry uh, was a wide receiver in the Johnny Unitas era, and is almost single-handedly responsible for developing what we now know know as route-based uh, passing. Uh, he and Johnny U developed the strategy of you're going to wait X amount of seconds and I'm going to run this pattern and you're going to throw the ball to this spot and I'm not going to be standing there but by the time the ball gets there I will be and uh, in a game that was very much more the college themed which is glorified rugby the, the development of the vertical passing game is pretty much was pretty much spawned out of what these two guys did in a chilly underfunded uh, Baltimore area 
uh, what they call workout area or training facility. So the, these guys are some of the real pioneers, and I respect the crap out of them. And Phil, that's above and beyond. I mean, really fantastic stuff that, that you've been sending my way. Stuff that uh, you can't buy on eBay because uh, well, it's, they're not going to personalize anything in advance like that. But also stuff that you know you you might you may or may not want to because of the validity of it. But obviously, uh, you know, this is what Phil does. Is, 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 and check out his channel if you haven't already. If if there's you know a few of you just crawling out from under rocks at this point. And uh, thank you, thank you, my friend. Uh, that's all I can say. So I want to thank uh, Phil Squeepa 21, Anthony uh, Funky Diabetic One, uh, Terry and Lisa from Pack Pros, uh, JPK JPK 19. Uh, don't forget to check out those two uh, fine folks eBay. And uh, that's about it for this week. Uh, let me know in the comments below, real quick. Do you prefer the mail week format? Or do you want me to go back to the every few days? I know I got a couple of people that are saying it's epic long videos and comparing me to Puff Bear and whatnot. I just thought it was the sort of thing that, uh, you know, in, instead of watching the same individual videos every day, that it, it might be better to just do a mail week, get all the uh, epic craziness out of the way in one day, and then if you see something else come for me during the course of the week, you know that it's something pretty, uh, pretty important, pretty special. So let me know, guys. All right, YouTube. Peace.